Ajay Ghosh's art journey was set in a time when the tenor of nationalism resonated loudly with Indian sensibilities. His works drew inspiration from leading figures of the Bengal School of Art, including Abhinindranath Tagore, Nandlal Bose, Asit Haldar and Chugtai. The focus on indigenous art techniques led to the catapulting of the Bengal School idiom into the mainstream and a timeline that could be considered the high point of the Indian Renaissance. Artists active during this time were no longer interested in academic realism and very willingly turned their backs on the art schools that were established by the British. With motivation from giants like Sister Nivedita and E.B. Havel, the urge to unearth long buried aesthetics of classical Indian art surfaced, which is an influence seen in Ghosh's work. Unlike his mentor, Binod Bihari Mukherjee, who veered away from overtly religious themes in order to capture everyday frescoes, Ghosh's practice depicted visuals that were very deeply rooted in Indian tradition. Ajay Ghosh was born in 1938 and he graduated from the Government College of Arts and Crafts in Calcutta in 1960. He exhibited widely in several group and solo shows and was the founding member of the contemporary Bengal artist group. He would be regarded as amongst the most powerful practitioners of the wash technique, a practice that was brought to India by the disciples of the Japanese master wash artist Okakura. This wash technique involved repeated application of layers of transparent paint that were followed by multiple rounds of dipping the work in water to wash away any excessive colour. A very meticulous process that resulted in a soft gradient and soothing tones that offered a mystical quality to the image. This masterful capability is visible in perfect form in the work behind me. The work I'm showcasing today is called Shakuntala and holds a transcendental quality that echoes the aura of the frescoes of the Ajanta Caves of Maharashtra. It depicts a scene from the story of Shakuntala, derived from Kalidasa's 4th century play Abhinyana Shakuntalam. The visual showcases Shakuntala receiving a flower from a female companion while being greeted by a deer. That most likely is the one that Dushyanta, the play's male protagonist, is at that very moment hunting for, but in another part of the forest. The meditative gaze and lotus-lipped soft facial features of the figures provide a contrast to the angularity and geometry present in the works carrying the European aesthetic that, as I had mentioned earlier, Ghosh and his peers worked against. Viewing this work engenders a feeling of timelessness as the eye inadvertently gets drawn to the serenity of the work, tuning out all external distractions. The fluid rendering of the anatomy, the colour scheme, the quiet expressiveness together pay tribute to the ancient frescoes which also had a major impact on Nandlal Bose, who accompanied artist and art patron Lady Herringham in 1909 and 10 to document them. Ajay Ghosh was the last amongst the masters of the wash technique, having aced the use of colours, form, lines and space division in this beautiful tradition. And one of the main reasons why he must be championed. Our financial knowledge partner at IndianArtInvestor.com shares that Ajay Ghosh has not yet made an appearance at auction. One can understand the context though from the performance of similar works. Over the past five years, works in watercolour have contributed 57.8 crore rupees to the total turnover generated at auction. Sales of works done on paper have realised approximately 54 crore rupees over the same timeline. Watercolours on paper are usually rendered in a small format and typically remain unlike the large scale of Shakuntala that would be categorised as a large work. Of the 908 works that were auctioned over the past five years, 12 were large size works and one was extra large that was offered and sold successfully. Now if you'd like to discuss this work in further detail, please mail me at arvind at It would be a pleasure, as always, to hear from you.